Welcome back, everybody. This is Algebra 2, Exponential Functions, Lesson Number 11, Solving Exponential Equations Using Logs, Home Review, Part 2. If you have not caught Homework or Part 1 yet, please definitely go check it out, and uh, we'll see in this case some of the same techniques we're using in Part 1 that we use in Part 2. So it might seem we're going a little bit quickly, but that's assuming you've watched the first one and it shows you step by step. Okay? And of course, if part one was helpful and, and hopefully part two will be helpful as well too, please give the video a like. I really appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. So we are now with question number five. Solve each of the following extra two equations. Be careful with your use of parentheses. Express each answer to the nearest hundredth. And so we're going to take the log of both sides. So we have a log of six to two x minus five. equals 300. Oh, log of 300, sorry about that, log 300. So if we take the log of both sides, we'll plug in each of these sides into the log function. And this is our common log. We use our power rule to bring the exponent down to the front. So now we have 2x minus 5 in parentheses times log of 6 equals a log of 300. We'll divide both sides by log of 6. Now keep in mind, it's not the log of 300 over 6. It's the log of 300 divided by log of 6. So now we have 2x minus 5 is equal to log of 300 divided by log of 6. Now we're going to add 5 to both sides. Now in this case we see here what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be, be kind of in this idea of just trying to solve for x by itself, leaving everything in, its, um, in terms of log. So now we have 2x is equal to the log of five, 300 over the log of 6 plus 5. Okay, move this down a little bit here. And now we want to get x by itself, so we divide everything by 2. Okay, so on our calculator, we're going to take log of 300, divide by log of 6, then add 5. After we found that, I'll clear all this stuff here. So log of 300, close parenthesis, divide log of 5. All right, and after that, I believe we're adding 5, just to make sure. Yes, we are adding 5. Okay, so adding 5 plus 5. Okay, so we get this decimal here, 8.54395931, but we're taking this answer and dividing it by 2. And so we get 4.271979655. Well, really, to the nearest hundredth, 4.27 is what x is equal to. Just to make sure the nearest hundredth, yes, 4.27. Is it 4.7? Yes, 4.27. So that's the answer for the first question here. All right. And we're just kind of, again, taking a log of both sides, very important, use the power rule, and then, of course, trying to find x by itself. So for this one here, we have the log of 1 half raised to x over 3 plus 1 equals the log of 1 sixth. Okay? We use our power rule to bring the x point down. So now we have... Oops, blue. X over 3 plus 1 times the log of 1 half equals the log of 1 sixth. All right? And we want to get x by itself. So the very first thing we do is divide both sides by the log of 1 half. So now we have x plus x over 3 plus 1 equals a log of 1 over 6 divided by log of 1 third. 
We're going to subtract one from both sides. See, this getting more, a little more complicated. That's okay. Again, log of one sixth over log of one third minus one. And then we're going to multiply everything by three. So we're going to, because we have x divided by three, we get x by itself, we multiply everything by three. So we will get x is equal to. 3 times the log of 1 6 divided by log of 1 third minus 1 close parenthesis. And so when we do this, we're probably going to do very similar to what we did before. We're going to probably find the uh, log of log of 1 6 divided by log of 1 or log of 1 third of 1. Actually, log of should be log of 1 half, not log of 1 third. Sorry about that. I'm wondering, probably wondering why was saying log with log one third. My handwriting is so bad. It should be one half because that's what the original problem started off with, All right? Because it was one half to the x over three plus one. So log of one six divided by log of one half, then minus one, enter, and then we'll multiply that x by three. So we have log of one six, one divided by six, divided by log of one half. 1 over 2, close parenthesis. And then we say we're going to subtract by 1. Subtract by 1. Sorry, ladies. I'm going to just have a terrible memory. Terrible memory. Minus 1. And so we get in this case 1.58496250. But we're not finished yet. We're supposed to take this answer and multiply it by 3. So times 3. And we get to nearest hundredth, 4.75, because the 4 here is not enough to bring up next. So the answer for this one is 4.75. So x is equal to 4.75. Okay. All right. Now for the th now for the next one. Last one for this question here. Do some purple. Again, very similar to previous problems. We have 500 times 1.02 raised the x over 12 equals 2,300. Because we want to get 1.02 to x raised the x over 12 by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 500. Now, when we divide both sides by 500, we're going to get in this case well 2,300 over 500 gives us 23 over 5. So we get 1.02 x to the x over 12 power is equal to 23 over 5. Now we take the log of both sides. So the log of 1.02 raised to x over 12 equals the log of 23 over 5. How rule brings this exponent down? And we have in this case x over 12 times log of 1.02 equals the log of 23 over 5. We're going to divide both sides by a log of 1.02. 1.02. I know it's like a lot right in there. But you, some of you would rather do decimals, but again, I like to leave that all to the very end because all the answers are kind of compact. So x over 12 is equal to log of 23 over 5 divided by the log of 1.02. And we're going to multiply both sides here by 12 because x is being divided by 12. So we find x, before we sum find anything, becomes 12 log of 23 over 5, all divided by log of 1.02. Okay. And then we'll get to our calculator. Oh, so okay, let's extend this a little bit. Okay. So, oops. 
calculator. So we have the log of 23. So we have the log of 23 over 5. 23 divided by 5, close parenthesis. Divide that by the log of 1.02, close parenthesis. All right. Oh, it was three times that. So let me just insert that here. So I hit second delete, which means insert. And I believe in this case, there was a 12, was it? 12 log, just to make sure. Yes, 12 log, right? So 12 times log of 23 over 5 or over log 1.02. And then we are going to hit enter. And we get... In this case, 924.7599 to the nearest hundred is 924.76. So 924. So x is equal to 924.76. Just to double check to make sure. 924.76? Yes. And this is the answer for C in this set of questions. I'll make this full page here for number five. Number six, the population of Red Hook is growing at a rate of 3.5% per year. If this population is 12,500 in many years, how many years will the population exceed? 20,000. Round answer to the nearest year, only an algebraic solution is acceptable. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our equation we use for, uh, usually for these uh, exponential uh, functions. A of t is equal to a sub zero times one plus r to the t power. And what we're gonna plug in for r is, well, 0 0.035, because that's the rate. Our initial value is 12,500. The population is gonna be 20,000 we're looking for. And in this situation, t is the one we don't know. So in solving for this type of equation, we want to do again is the same thing, try to get the, the expression with the, the exponent variable by itself. So first thing we do is divide both sides by 12,500. And so we divide 20,000 by 12,500. Let's do that. 20,000 divided by 12,500. And we get 1.6, okay? So now 1.6 is equal to 1.035 raised to t power. Just like we did before, since the variable is the exponent, we're going to take the log of both sides. So now we have the log of 1.6 equals the log of 1.035 raised to t. To get t by itself, we're going to use our power rule, again, only works for, for logs. So now we get log of 1.6 equals t times log of 1.035. We'll divide both sides by that log of 1.035. And so now we get, in this case, because log of 1.035 is the actual number, and so we get t by itself, and again, we're looking for rounding our answer to the nearest year, to the nearest year. So we'll take log of 1.6 divided by log of 1.035. So the log of 1.6, close parenthesis, divided by the log of 1.035, close parenthesis. And we get 13.66, which we will round off to 14. So 13.66, 13.66 will round off to 14 years. Okay, and that's how long it's about to take to, for population to grow from 12,500 to 20,000. And this will be the end of our homework review number two. Again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to be alerted when new videos are added. I look forward to seeing you, to, seeing you guys in video number three, and make sure to catch video number one. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care and be safe.